Hey guys, welcome back to Burner Brother Antiques. We are actually in northern Ohio, up near where Josh went to college. Yeah. This is kind of fun. It's been a fun yeah. trip. It's been real fun. Wooster area, Amish country. A lot of a lot of Amish live up here. Uh, horse and buggies. You got to watch for horse and buggies when you're driving the back roads up here. We actually seen one earlier going over yes, the bridge. We did. Yeah, Josh is old stomping ground. Four years of college up here at Ashland, and uh, this house calls about what half hour north of that. Yep. Okay. Um, so here's the situation today. Uh, a couple was in the antique center last week, and we talked to them about coming up here and their parents. I'm pretty sure it's their, their parents' estate that they wanted us to look at. Uh, we've seen photos. It looks very intriguing, and they've got lots of smalls. We had told them, uh, you know, we'll, we'll be a wholesale price range. They said, yeah, we want to do that. We want you guys to come and buy a bunch of stuff. So uh, we'll see. Uh, if it doesn't happen, we just yeah. had a nice round trip back to Josh's stomping grounds. We're so. not far from Lake Erie, so if, it's, uh, well, if this doesn't work true. out, maybe we'll shoot over to the lake. It, it, it <laughs> might happen. We don't know. But uh, that's kind of where we're at. We've been uh, driving all morning, and, uh, yeah, let's go see what they got. Up here in the house, we're taking a look at everything. There's some pretty cool stuff sitting around. Uh, Bonaparte, Napoleon. Here, a couple picture frames have been redone. A couple lamps. That's cool. So I'm in the attic here, not the attic, the closet upstairs, uh, looking through some of these things. There's lots of fun decorative frames in here. That's all interesting. Do something with. Now, do you, uh... All right, and there's a whole big group of Barbie dolls here, all the way down. And Barbie and the Rocker. That's a little composition doll, actually. I mean, shelving units. Well, that one's a picture. Absolutely. At least five figures, right? <laughs> right, I'm pretty sure. If I remember right. Well, or... Yeah, we'd have to get the baby shoes. Oh, look shoes at the baby in. shoes. Are those yours? <laughs> Mom saved everything. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> but yeah, it's still there's Waller in the corner. I like corner. the cat. The flow blue on the wall. Flow blue is so much down compared to what it used to be. Oh, You've probably noticed that, haven't you? Oh. It still is. I, love I like this blue rocker blue. or a chair here. This is kind of a cool style. I think it's different styles, right? Looks Indian, probably from India. Brass inlay and bells. Well, plaster tobacco store Indian here and some miscellaneous a blue painted secretary that's kind of seen a different that's better day huh yeah I like the scale a little tramp art frame up here boat a couple of John Deere tractors are there more of these <gasps> my nephew an interesting Victorian table the so mahogany bedroom suit is really fun. It's got a nice style, probably 1930s. Uh, missing a couple bales down through it here. Definitely needs all. It needs some TLC, doesn't it? <laughs> you redo that. Okay. Yeah, let's look at what else we got in here. A bunch of pieces to the bedroom suit. A lot of hats. Oh, tons of them. A lot of hats. Chalk figure, a little prints on the wall with double frames. There's a lot of purses in here, vintage purses, bunches of that. That's interesting. Pretty fun. There's an interesting figure holding a glass globe. <laughs> Lots of glassware here. So we got caster sets and pickle casters, and bride's baskets, some Victorian pictures here. Uh, cool oil lamp in the corner. It's interesting, these old Victorian parlor sets we used to sell for a ton of money and now they're, now they're hard to move. Um, let me go this way. This is kind of interesting. Little okay. like the bronze it's piece. There's some McCoy down there. Uh, Majelica. Howard Miller grandfather clock. 
A hand painted lemonade pitcher up here. Let's look at the smalls for a minute here. So Steins, pretty interesting. Royal Beirut got a chip in it. Hmm, that's all pretty cool. Let's see what these guys are. And that's fun. Painting, Chinese table. It's a fun piece. She liked her little settees, didn't she? The yeah. parlor sets. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's funny. A lot of ruby glass on the bottom. Not to be nosy, but what? I mean, because I think my brother wants one. What are you guys been averaging getting on this? If you're, you're lucky enough to sell. If one? you're lucky enough to sell it, this is a great question. <laughs> I like all the Fenton stuff here. That's pretty cool. And there's some oil lamps. We do pretty fun. <laughs> Paintings contemporary, lamps contemporary. Bronze is contemporary. A lot of art pottery here. A few pieces have some pretty good chips in them. I'll have to go through those slower and look at them pretty quick or close. I like all the Roseville. Cool. You got the brass deer. That's funny. <laughs> this, this fun, it's a funny, Josh, is all this blow, this flow blue and the, the gaudy stuff um, down at the warehouse. We have mm -hmm. know, 500 pieces of that. <laughs> we have some butter molds. Lots of stuff in this one here. I, I love flow blue. Yeah, that was Let's see what's in the bottom here. Thing for a long time. It's so fun. Mm, like, interesting. So and painted stuff. There's some blue willow transfer. <coughs> I took some of this stuff down. There's so Jesus can... praying over here for us all. <coughs> That's always good. Yeah. Like the water coolers. They're fun. Nice grouping of stoneware water coolers with seeds on them. <coughs> That's a lot of glass. There's some Blue Ridge, some Falstoria. A milk glass. We're making a deal here. We're gonna have to go get more boxes. <laughs> yeah, we, we we did not bring enough boxes if we buy all this. Oh, we have some. We can throw away the prize. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Lots of stuff. Some little salt crocs and butter crocs up top. Interesting. Any silverware holder all right so here we go all the glass in the cabinet a little imperial butter dish it looks like some cruets and painted salts there those spice are actually that's fun. robinson okay it's more of the robinsons yeah i'm assuming all those coolers are robinsons too yeah kitchen i can't remember cookie if jars I mean. there's more dishes in here pottery I don't know what you'd be interested, but right all now. This. <laughs> so all of these all the way around. Those just keep going, huh? Oh, you're fine. You're fine. That's interesting. I like that little chicken That's dish good. here. That's kind of cool. Pretty neat. All the balls, the cast iron. This one, I'm sorry. Let me put Oh, this you one. keeping that one? Yep, sorry. Well, that was a cool piece. <laughs> and it went bye bye. So here's a fun little two wheel coffee grinder, a uh, little basket in the corner, a couple lamps, mother of pearl plaques. It's a very eclectic group of stuff. Yes. Uh, the watt pitcher is kind of fun, but man, that's got a big chunk out of it. That kind of ruins the value on that. That's a, it, that's a rare pattern, a uh, style. The, the swoop yeah, that like was that. Heartbreaking. <laughs> <laughs> and then over here. And this is old boy stuff. Big welcome hanging rack on the side. And then I love all it? this. This old is stoneware. And gotcha. Interesting group. Stoneware pieces, amber pitcher in here. And then up top we got more. More going across. Big German grandfather clock. It looks German, it may not be, maybe in English. Pretty cool. Couple peelers and stuff here. 
the clown like is the spoke for, but we're all chicken to get up there. The green is on there. Okay, so the clown does not go. There's so we're in the basement. There's a nice enterprise sausage grinder over there. Sausage press, I mean, you know, a little corn sheller from Dollhouse. Fun. Some crockery in here, some flower pots, some old pictures. Uh, interesting group of Pyrex uh, over here, though. There's a lot of Pyrex, actually. It's kind of fun finding the Pyrex in the basement. Uh, figures, jewelty, and then here's another whole stack of Pyrex over on this side. Here's some fun pieces down in here, yeah. some more over here. Again, a lot of Pyrex, which is fun. Some other Victorian chair, very difficult to sell. They're such good looking chairs. I think they're gonna come back in value. Uh, all the Pyrex through here. Some great colors over there. Okay, so we got excited when we walked out here and seen this Ford, and the 27 Ford. Uh, I'm not even sure what you call that, like a passenger car? I love all the woodwork on it though. Uh, pretty interesting vehicle. Glass front up front. That's just so cool. Look at the ceiling in that thing. I don't know, Josh, I might try and see if we can't figure out a price on that to buy it. It's really cool. Yeah, check this out. So it's hard to get really close to it. I haven't seen this side yet. That's that's fun. I like the bent oak all the way through. <laughs> it's probably uh, I mean, most people probably wouldn't like that, but I love the wood because it reminds me of antique furniture. You <laughs> it, know? Does, it looks like a piece of antique furniture. It does look like antique furniture. It's I love it. So Ohio gas pump back here in the corner. That's fun. One of the old sleds too. Yeah. You get the scales, grocery scales. Sleds and a couple sets of grocery scales out here. Antifreeze sign's fun too. Sled. Well, the clock's kind of interesting. That's pretty cool. Mako Court Gasket sign. The lead glass window is pretty cool. I love the lady in there. I honestly don't. Here's a copper pot. He never. Dad doesn't ever get rid of anything. Every bolt, nut, screw. But if you need it, he's got it. I'll give him that. That's a lot of stuff in here. <laughs> The little stove over there is cute, Josh. Nope, there goes a squirrel. squirrel. Squirrel on the run. Squirrel. <laughs> oh yeah. Some post office box over there. Here's the top to a Victorian bookcase. Okay, right, there you guys do. I, I don't like animals running around. Josh, uh, Josh doesn't mind. I get let him go back in the barn here. Ran me over, get away from the squirrel. <laughs> Reminds me of the one Dad put on the front porch. It does, John doesn't Deere it? One. John Deere yeah. one he just put out on the front porch. That's pretty cool. There's stuff like this throughout the whole estate here. Little architectural and garden things everywhere. All right, well now we're back here to the back of the basement. Let's see what we find back here. Uh, some ice skates. Don't really, wouldn't be interested in those. Uh, a brass lamp in the box. Man, a lot of paint in this place. A lot of paint. I they had a grocery store at one time. Mm -mm. Didn't, well, this old grocery store stuff is fun, isn't it? Yeah, they had some pieces out in the other barn. This box here's got to be flower pots in it. There's a piece of goofus glass here. This is a fun little advertising yeah, jar here. Close out of it. Yeah. A little miniature wash. <laughs> Washing machine is kind of cool. I like the big ball jar too. Yeah. It's just fun. It's not nothing, nothing exciting. Nothing crazy. But just fun. All right. Let's see what else we can figure out. So Josh and I are here, and we're trying to figure out uh, if we can buy that little van right there, that 1927 Ford extended passenger van. We're trying to figure out a price on it, and they they uh, they think they got a price it's they want cool. for it. And, uh, we don't know. We may or may not end up with it today. I don't know. I, I would like to get close on the number, uh, see if we have a shot at it or not. Yeah. But yeah, we'll see how it goes. So we'll see what happens. Well, we're loading, and it's snowing. We've been here, it's six o'clock. And we're still loading. This is a long, long haul to the house. 
and we're out of boxes so we're trying to improvise i'm not sure what we did here we'll see when we get unpacked but right now it's snowing on us okay guys we are packed the van is as full as we're getting it uh just go straight here yeah and we are on the way back home it is we spent all day here like it's, it's seven seven thirty seven thirty actually it's seven forty we got a two and a half hour drive and we didn't even eat today right, That's right. we haven't eaten we haven't eaten yet <laughs> <laughs> we just worked uh we had a bottle had a bottle of water well, i'm wore out um it was it was good and bad so this is a, 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 a kind of an interesting situation where i didn't look at every single piece on the shelves because you don't assume that every single piece is going to have damage like you know when you're looking at an estate like this generally you, you can kind of the go collections it. I, I expected the collections to be good collections is kind yeah. of like, you know, like the flow blue the, around yes, the top yes the, yeah the rs prussia so the, the flow blue and the prussia and all that stuff was probably 50 to 70 percent damage the pottery was probably 85 percent damaged right so all of the roseville had damage on it and so you know we get going through there and you, we get excited about a piece and you look at it it's like oh it's chipped it's broke yeah. it's cracked yeah and it just kills the value yeah uh, yeah so anyways that we did have that happen um, we, we bought a couple things we couldn't get on and it's a it's a five-hour round-trip drive and so we we uh, <laughs> left the left them. <laughs> we, <laughs> we didn't even well, negotiate we were like look we just can't yeah, we left a, a cedar chest we and, left and we'd already paid for it so a leather chair uh, we left a grandfather clock a grandfather clock yeah yeah those were the three items three that, items um, I love to have had them, but and then always in a state like this too, when family starts showing up, a couple of family members start showing up, and then um, you know someone says, "Oh, I wanted that," "No, I wanted that," and so yeah. again, there was probably yeah. I don't know five or six items like that as well that that kind of got taken out of the deal. Um, we we did find a couple things, not a lot that we didn't know that we bought that was with the deal because we kind of worked out a price for everything in the house. Um, that we anything in the house that we wanted we told them we would load our van and take what we wanted with us with no furniture outside of three pieces which we didn't take anyways yeah we ended up like it because <laughs> <laughs> we couldn't fit them on and we knew we were going to be that way because it, it was just we don't we only have the van um so anyways it, it worked out um i was hoping this stuff would be in better shape then i'd be pretty excited about it um, but it'll be okay. I mean, oh yeah. And they're, they, this they is have, the oddest packing group of oh, stuff my. I've ever bought, or that I've been with you and we bought. Well, how many Pyrex bowls did we buy? Fifty. Probably at least fifty. Fifty Pyrex bowls, um, and they're hard to pack. Uh, that's just one thing. But then every item was like you'd have a charger and a cup and a saucer and a, and <laughs> and a, a lamp picture. and a picture, <laughs> and it was just, it was like what is all this? Um, there was a really good slide glass lamp that I really like. It's a Miller. Um, I've, I've, I'm really happy with it. There was a double cranberry uh, student lamp that's pretty cool too. Um, I, I really like both of those items. And we have this lamp sitting in the front seat with us because I didn't want to get it broke. Um, and there again, once we got in here and I started looking at it, I was like, oh man, I, I didn't see it had a big chip in it. So what did I break? And then Josh broke, broke a piece a of Linux. Linux. Yeah, I broke a piece it, of Linux. And it shattered. There's no repair on it. Yeah, it, it was just gone. I turned one piece into mini. <laughs> but yeah it is what it is we had a lot of fun uh, we are worn out though we're gonna go get some food we're calling this a day make it right here, I have no idea how long this video is because we just did a little filming in the house but uh, whatever it is it is guys this is what we did today we worked all day and it snowed twice today I had to move all the boxes inside the house it was snowing so hard yeah that was so wild Seven miles. Turn left to merge on then we, we left the driveway Columbus. and the driveway was up on a hill and the, the truck the truck rock i hate boom, going at an angle boom, boom. i was you like always, well. <laughs> well you always want it when you add a full load you don't want to ever go at an angle in or out of a driveway but if the way this was there's like a uh, there was no choice and so it was, we, we eased it as slow as we could but it was still a boom, boom, like it, we felt the whole truck go sideways so yeah, we'll see know. what we got when we get back we'll, we'll be all right it's uh we're calling it a night man it's tired we're tired we're headed home we got a two and a half hour drive so we're gonna grab some food and uh, stay on the road Yep. Don't forget to uh, subscribe to our channels at Burner Brother Antiques, at Heart of Ohio Antiques. Lots of stuff coming up on Whatnot. If you're not following us on Whatnot, if you do want to jump on here and follow us, we do a lot of sales on Whatnot now. And we'll throw some of this on Whatnot. Not yeah. a lot. Uh, it's not a lot of Whatnot material here, but 
a lot of it through the burners.com. We'll throw some in the antique center. And we've got a massive leaded glass window that we're going to put out in the antique center. Um, I'm just praying it survives. Um, it was loose in the frame and it had a bow in it when we loaded it. Yeah. So we're hoping that it. It's uh, got a 50 50 chance of making it. <laughs> oh, I hope it's more than that. We need that. <laughs> we figured a lot of money on that one. Yep. Um, so we're, we're headed out. We're going to go back and. Uh, park the truck tonight get some rest and start back up tomorrow so blessings everybody out there thanks for watching See you, folks okay bonus footage josh just looked at how many steps he had tell him how many steps you got just under fourteen thousand steps and 45 flights of stairs that's what my <laughs> phone said for the day so yeah we were at it Woo, that's why we were out <laughs> we still got a two and a half hour drive all right we'll talk to you later all right we're on our way home james driving get over there we're in a snowstorm. This is crazy. It was like 70 last night. Look at this. <laughs> it's like we're hitting warp speed on the way home, Jay. I know, this is crazy. That's nuts. And the wind is like pushing vicious, us side to side. Vicious wind. Yeah, rocking me to sleep over here. <laughs> All right, just thought it was interesting. No, stop snowing. Stop snowing again. No, now it's starting. It was snowing so hard a little bit ago, the flakes were like a half inch 